Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to build a very simple BMI calculator using the JavaScript. So first of all, we got the first input getting from user, which is the height in CM. So if I just input 186 and follow with 65, and here's the button for calculate. And you will see it's going to be output as the normal 18.79. So if I just leave it empty and I calculate again, an alert message is going to be showed up. The form has errors and the result is going to be clear and we got the error message over here. Please provide a value with, if I just enter the alphabet, calculate again, same as the alert message, the form has errors. If I just leave it empty, calculate, the form has errors. Please provide a valid height. So this is the demo and now let's get started to build this BMI calculator. Alright, so to get started, I'll create a div with class name wrapper. So inside of wrapper, we got the paragraph. So the first paragraph, okay, we got the height in cm colon input as the type and we can give it an ID as the height so after the input okay we can create a break and with a spam so this spam we're gonna hold the error message so this id can say error height error All right so next another paragraph so this one should be with in kg input type Okay, as the text ID with a break spam ID with error. Okay, so next is the button. Okay, and giving an ID BTN. So this is the text as calculate. Okay, next we got the paragraph. So this paragraph, we're gonna hold the result. Okay, the final result. Okay, giving an ID as output. Okay, and the text, I will just leave it as empty. Okay, so we're done for the contact part. So we can go for the CSS part. Okay, I will start style the body tag. So I'm going to set the margin 0% heading 0% and set all the color to white set the font family to area and lastly set the background color sky blue next I'm going to style this spam which is the error message Gonna set it as color red. Okay, next is the wrapper, which is the all the width in kg. So which is this all the content part. I'm gonna start it. So I can set the position to absolute. I'm gonna set it as center. Set the top to okay 45%. Left. 50% and transform okay transform translate negative 15% and negative 50% okay next we can set the padding 15 pixels Set the background to black and border radius to 5 pixels. Lastly, we can sh set the box shadow. Okay, I'm going to using the RGB. So for the first color, 38. So for the green, 57. For the blue, 70, 17. Okay, 7. 717. Okay, so zero pixels. 
20 pixels, 30 pixels, lastly negative 10 pixels. Right, so now let's go ahead to check for our styling part, open the different browser. Right, so here's the demo and let's go back to our CSS part. Next, we can set the input to outline. We can set it as none and the border none and set some of the padding to 5 pixels. Lastly, we can set the button style the button set as the color white and padding 10 pixels border 2 pixels solid white background is going to set as black and display plot margin top 10 pixels, lastly cursor pointer. Okay, now open the default browser to check again. So this is the final result. So we're done for the styling part. Now we can move on to the JavaScript part. Alright, so first of all, we can create a let button. So document, sorry, document dot get element by ID. So I was just getting from this ID, which is PTN. So I'm going to grab it and paste it over here. And we can set this button to event listener. When this button is being clicked, okay, and we can using the cons, which is the height. So when this button is being clicked, and I want to get the input from the user. So we can using this height. So I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to using this parsing method. So this parsing method, you will see that it's going to be a string to convert into a number. Okay, so you can using document dot get element by ID, the height dot value. So you can see that this get element by ID height, so which is this height, and we can get through this value depends on what user input. So over here we can get from the user input and convert the strings into the number. Next one we got the const the riff. Okay, also using the parsing method. Also the same document get element by ID which is getting the width and the value. Okay, next, we got the const result. Get element by ID as the output. If you still remember, this output is going to grab through this final result. So we can set inner.html to return the final result to the user. Okay, next we can set the height status to false first. And next we got the width status to false. Okay, so next we can check if the height is equals to empty, which means the user enter without the value and he's click this button or is not number. As the height or your height value is less than or equals to zero. So if is one of them is been true and I'm gonna set through the errors, which is document dot get element by ID getting from height error in a HTML and over here we can return a message. Please provide a valid Height. If you still remember this height error, which is this spam, if it's empty or your number is not a number or the value is equals to zero, you can return this message to the user. Right, so else we can set the document dot get element by ID the height sorry 
error in a HTML, I'm going to clear the this valid this error's message. So if it's not true, okay, all of this is false, and I'm going to set true as empty. Last, we can set the height status to true. Okay, so next one is to check the wine exactly the same as these functions the, to use to check. So or is not a number. So pass by the width or your width is less than or equals to zero. So I'm gonna direct copy this line of code and paste it over here. So instead of high error, you can set to width error and please provide a valid height. So over here we can change to width else. We're gonna grab through this one, paste it over here and clear the error message. Lastly, set width status to true. Okay, and next we're gonna use the if else to check if your height status and your width status is all is equals to true. And I'm gonna run to calculate the final result. So this is gonna check if it's not empty or it's not a number or your value is not equals to zero. And we're gonna run this else statement. So this is gonna be changed to true. And this is also going to change to true. And over here, we can use to check if both of this is true. And we only uh, execute this block of code. So, const BMI. So, here is the BMI uh, formula. So, we can get through the width value and get the height times the height divided by uh, 10,000 dot to fix sorry so over here i leave a uh, prices dot to fix so we can using this to fix method which is the number of integer the digital so we can set as two decimal point and over here we can use if else to check if your result final result is less than 18.6 value your bmi value is lesser than 18.6 so we can using result in the html so over here which is the output element id so over here i'm going to return under width plus the bmi value okay so else if your bmi is greater or equals to 18.6 and your BMI is lesser than 24.9 if it's yes I'm gonna set result in the HTML equals to normal colon and assess the BMI value okay else result in a HTML and over wine and a colon assess through the BMI value. Okay, so if it's this one it's else is not equals to true. So I'm gonna use a alert message the form has errors. And finally, I'm going to set the result in the HTML, which is the final output. I'm going to set it as, sorry, empty value. Okay, so I think that's uh, working fine. So I'm going to save this up and open the default browser to check. So first of all, if I just uh, leave it empty and I direct calculate, you will see that the form has errors. And please provide a value height please provide a value width. So if I just enter the height in CM, so 118 as the example, so I calculate the form still has the errors. And you will see that this error message for the height is going to be removed. 
So this one still remain. So if I just enter 65, calculate, it's going to be returned normal. And if I just leave it empty, how about if I just enter the alphabet and calculate again, the form has errors. And please provide a valid height width. And you see that the output, the final output is going to be removed. It. All right. And that's it for this uh, tutorial. How can you build this very simple BMI calculator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with the form validations depends on whether the user entered the right input. So thanks for watching this and hope this is going to be help, help you guys and see you guys in the next JavaScript project.